The study that we're publishing today is a very large international effort into pancreatic cancer where we have for the first time the complete script of what causes this disease to develop and indeed where are the, the, the key drivers that make this such an aggressive disease. It's been really interesting for us for a number of reasons. The first being that it appears to be four diseases, not just one. And indeed, we've found 10 key mechanisms that cause this cancer. Something that's really become apparent to us in the last 10 years is that, that, that cancer in general is a, is a disease of information. We have information in our normal genetic blueprint and that is systematically corrupted by our environment, by exposure to mutagens or other things. All of that information damage is ultimately what drives cancer. So the best way that we can make sense of that is accumulate very large amounts of patient genomes and then take big data approaches to dealing with all of that information to find the common threads and understand the processes that have been damaged. What this study has shown us quite surprisingly is that pancreatic cancers for a sizable portion of the people we studied, probably about 20-25%, they actively have a process there where different immune cells uh, are hiding those tumour cells uh, from the immune system. That's a real opportunity for us therapeutically that now we recognise that that segment is there in our cohort, we need to be able to rapidly screen for those and design some trials where we get clever about how we would tackle that, that suppression process, decloak those tumour cells and then hopefully allow the body's immune system to help fight those, those cancers.